Mr. Fowl, I have all the time in the world for your opinions, but we must face this. You're a man of very little education. That's true. One only has to glance at you. The curious lobe of your ear, the line of your hair, and the strange way your eyebrows connect in the middle to know that you're a man of very limited intelligence. Agreed, quite frankly. You think you killed your wife. It seems to me... Mr Fowl, look at yourself objectively. On a question of birdseed, I have no doubt you may be infallible. But on a vital point like this, may you not be mistaken? Well... Don't answer. Uh, why not, sir? Before you drop the bomb of a reply, consider who will be wounded. Are the innocent to suffer? I only want to be honest. But you're a criminal, Mr Fowl. You've broken through the narrow fabric of honesty. You're free to be kind, human, to do good. But what I did to her... She's passed, you know, out of your life. You've set up new relationships. You've picked out me. Picked out? Mm, selected. But I didn't know. No, Mr. Fowl, and that's the whole beauty of it. You didn't know me. You came to me under a system of chance invented, like the football pools, to even out the harsh inequality of a world where you have to deserve success. You, Mr. Fowl, are my first doc brief. <laughs>